Unit Eight. English-speaking countries. Page sixteen. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. How's your international summer camp going, Farm? Awesome, just awesome. You sound so happy. What do you like about it? It's hard to say. Everything's wonderful. The friends I've made, the places I've visited, the activities. Oh, your English has improved a lot. Absolutely. I use English every day with people from different countries. Where are they from? Everywhere. Places like India, Canada. English is also an official language here in Singapore. Right. Have you made any friends from English-speaking countries? I'm in a team with two boys from Australia and a girl from the USA. Do you have difficulty understanding them? I found it difficult to understand them at first. Perhaps it's because of their accent, but it's okay now. It's great that you can practice English with native speakers. When are you back? Our camp closes on July fifteenth. And I take the night flight home the same day. Looking forward to seeing you then. Enjoy. I will. Thanks. Bye. Unit eight. Page eighteen. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity five. Listen and repeat the words. One. Cantonese. Two. Taiwanese. Three. Japanese. Four. Portuguese. Five. Employee. Six, adoptee. Seven, addressee. Eight, interviewee. Unit eight. Page eighteen. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity six. Mark the stress in the underlined words. Then listen and repeat the sentences. One. One fifth of the people in the world are Chinese. Two. A refugee. Is a person who is forced to leave a country. Three. My daughter is a trainee. Four. Japanese is the language of Japan. Five. This printer has a two-year guarantee. Unit eight. Page eighteen. A closer look. One. Vocabulary. Activity one. Write the names for the people who belong to these places. Then listen and repeat the words. One. The USA, the Americans. Two, England, the English. Three, Scotland, the Scottish, the Scots. Four, Wales, the Welsh. Five, 
Ireland, the Irish. Six. Canada, the Canadians. Seven. Australia, the Australians. Eight. New Zealand, the New Zealanders. Unit eight. Page twenty three. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. A tour guide is talking about the schedule for a day trip to Wanaka, a town in the far south of New Zealand. Listen and fill in the time. For the schedule of events. Good morning. I hope you all had a good sleep. We are now heading for Wanaka. We arrive at the first destination, Puzzling World, at nine thirty. The first puzzling thing which welcomes you is the leaning tower. When you get inside the spacious cafe, you will find yourself among various wooden puzzles and games. The illusion room is a must-see, as there's nothing else like it in the world. Puzzling World is possibly the most photographed attraction in New Zealand. At twelve thirty, we leave for Lake Wanaka. New Zealand's fourth largest lake. This natural paradise has something for everyone. Adventure lovers may follow the biking and walking tracks through the park. Relaxation seekers may stay by the lake, taking a boat ride, or just sitting and watching its changing beauty. We meet up at four o'clock, and the bus leaves at exactly four fifteen. I hope. Unit eight, page twenty-three. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen again and choose the right answer, A, B, or C. Good morning. I hope you all had a good sleep. We are now heading for Wanaka. We arrive at the first destination, Puzzling World, at nine thirty. The first puzzling thing which welcomes you is the Leaning Tower. When you get inside the spacious cafe, you will find yourself among various wooden puzzles and games. The Illusion Room is a must-see. As there's nothing else like it in the world, Puzzling World is possibly the most photographed attraction in New Zealand. At twelve thirty, we leave for Lake Wanaka, New Zealand's fourth largest lake. This natural paradise has something for everyone. Adventure lovers may follow the biking and walking tracks through the park. Relaxation seekers may stay by the lake. Taking a boat ride, or just sitting and watching its changing beauty. We meet up at four o'clock, and the bus leaves at exactly four fifteen. I hope.